This is Twit. We have uh, Francis Campoy. I uh, hope I pronounced that right. He is speaking to us about the Go language. The Go language is a language from Google, uh, open sourced. Uh, had its first release, I think, a couple years ago and has been updated actually very recently. We'll talk to him a little bit about that. And uh, as, as best I can tell, it was the language came about because uh, the, Google wanted a nice, easy language to do high-performance applications, uh, uh, mostly server-side apparently. Um, or, yeah, it doesn't run in the browser, so server-side stuff. And uh, they got tired of writing stuff in C and C++. They kind of wanted some modern features in there, so they created their own language. So um, that's uh, my observation of it. I tried to do a, about an hour's worth of uh, scanning before the show, and I'm sorry I don't know much more about it than that. But, you know, we do have an expert on, so we can, we'll bring them on in a moment. Uh, uh, Dan, what, did, what have you seen about so far in Go? Um, I, I've got to be honest, I've only quickly had a look at it, but um, I hear a lot about it, and I know there's a lot of interesting people involved. Um, I'm interested to see how it fits in with the rest of their strategy. We were talking about Dart before, and I know that's a JavaScript yeah. thing. Uh, so it would be interesting to see how it fits into Google's kind of wider strategy, I would say. So I sort of gave the 30,000-foot view of Go uh, just a moment ago. Uh, why don't you start and sort of fill us in, like, what's, how did Go get started, and what problem was it created to solve? No, what <laughs> yeah, what problem was it created to solve? There we go. That is actually English. Okay. So, yeah, basically what what you were saying was uh, totally right. It was created, actually, it started as a 20% project uh, by some engineers. So Rob Pai, Ken Thompson, and uh, Robert Grismer. And what they were trying to do was to create a new language to solve the problems that they were trying to solve already. So writing big servers. Uh, where using concurrency should, would be easy, and also it should be easy. It should be very easy to read, because one of the problems of C++ is that understanding what the code that does exactly all the time is not that easy. And here at Google, at least, we spend way more time reading than writing code. So that was one of the premises of Go. It has to be really, really readable. 